When opportunity presented itself and demanded someone to fill the box score, ASU forward Kiana Ibis stepped up like a champ, leading the Devils in scoring. I knew that I had to be someone who had to step into one of the big roles, and I just knew I just had to be aggressive for my team and just be a big threat. She's doing this while playing at about... On a scale from 1 to 100, I'd say my knee is probably about an 80. Ibis is still fully not recovered from a right knee ACL injury in high school. She won't use it as an excuse. It brought me to where I am today, so I'm not complaining about it. And she did her knee about as bad as anybody can do their knee. Everything tore, bone bruise. So it's been kind of a process getting her fully healthy and able to do what she's doing right now. Able to score from anywhere, Ibis was an elite scorer in high school who wasn't afraid to shoot and still isn't. From day one, Kiana Ibis never met a shot she, she didn't like. If you're a scorer, you're going to like to look at the rim, right? Yeah, exactly. We love it, man. Like, give it to Kiana. Put Kiana in. She'll shoot it. Kiana has built an extended family at ASU, making her feel even more at ease in Tempe is her sister, Samantha who's also by her side as the team manager. Just having her, like being a part of our staff and being a manager and seeing her every day is, is pretty awesome. Kiana and I have been really close for like a super long time. I mean, I didn't really see us like living together or going to the same college, so it's pretty cool, so. These sisters are very close and know unique things about each other. She's really good with technology. She just loves to dance. <laughs> Too shy to dance on camera. Would Kiana cut a rug at the Sun Devils make the women's tournament? Oh, I got you. Yep, promise. <laughs> okay, we'll hold her to it. Joe Paquino, AZ Family Sports.